The city of Tripoli is also known as the Bride of the Sea for its beauty and location on the southern shores of the Mediterranean Sea. But years of conflict since the 2011 uprising against ruler Muammar Gaddafi have left Libya's capital neglected. Now that's starting to change. Mohammed Ismail is an engineer and runs Tripoli's public service company. He's supervising a governmental campaign to renovate the city's parks and recreational areas. <laughs> Ten years of political divisions in Libya have resulted in negligence in the public sector. Life stopped. The grass dried, roads and infrastructure destroyed. The people are tired of the fighting. Now, thanks to God, we have started a campaign to renew life in the city. We are renovating all the parks and fixing roads so people have a place to go and enjoy time with their families. With the capital seeing relative calm and work underway, the mood among people here has changed. We want to live like the rest of the world. We're tired of war. I want to go to work and in my free time have places to take my kids to play. Before, this was a military zone with big walls. No one could enter. But now things are better. As you can see, it's safe and clean. This new park in the heart of Tripoli was previously a military base. It was torn down. Its only remaining structure is that watchtower over there. Now, it's filled with families enjoying their evenings together, children playing, meals being shared. Rayana is a medical student. She says there's been a visible change in Tripoli's landscape in recent months. Despite all the fighting and problems in Libya in the past, I'm optimistic because we're seeing good things happening now, like new parks opening rather than military bases, children playing everywhere. It's satisfying to see and gives us hope in the future. In March, a political settlement was reached between the UN-recognized government in Tripoli and rival authorities based in the east of Libya to end the hostilities. That led to a unity government taking power, allowing local authorities to begin work and breathe new life into the capital. Elections are due in December, but could be postponed due to political divisions, and that's left many here, hoping Libya's hard-won peace won't be short-lived. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.